Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum In today's video we are going to learn that how we can create an accounts payable schedule or aging report in Microsoft Excel You will learn in detail the formulas and also you will know that what are the payments are due and what are the payments are not yet due so we will head over and I will show you the report which I have created already in Microsoft Excel here this is Microsoft Excel interface and here we have a detailed information of our suppliers accounts like this supplier having eight invoices and all are in the different phases like these this invoice is not at due this is 0 to 30 days and this column 31 to 60 days delayed 61 to 90 days delayed and total net due invoices we need to make payment this much and not yet due this much so we need we have we know that this supplier is delayed more than 90 days or more than 60 days or more than 30 days or within 30 days so we will decide that when we need to pay to this supplier and how much money we will pay him. same as we can add here second supplier third supplier four so on even if you have 100 suppliers you can create one uh, uh, sheet here and after that the outcome of this sheet in summary we will bring it here so this will be the summary of supplier number one two three so supplier number one has total payable balance this much not yet due this much and the net due is this value which we need to make payment to them so in total we have total payables this amount and not yet due is this amount and net due amount is this amount so this is a complete report and aging that how much money we need to pay to our suppliers so let's start with the beginning that how we can create this first of all you need to know that wh which party you are going to create this after that you should mention the invoice number of the one you are going to enter here after that purchase order number column you need to mention by your hands due date you should know the due date of that invoice you need to enter it value here and the total amount of that invoice now we need to calculate days outstanding okay when we need to uh, this invoice is going to be mature so we will pay this invoice and how many days it is uh, outstanding now here we have to put a formula by using the if condition so if condition is met by today's date if today's date is greater than this date the due date then we need here an output today's date minus this date so we will be having here enter we will be having here the value that how many days it is delayed after that when we will having the days here days outstanding like this is zero days outstanding it is not yet due so the value comes here so here we need to put formula if g5 means this value is equal to zero then we need this our invoice amount should show here so if we press enter here so this value is showing here suppose the second invoice has days outstanding five days outstanding so if we double click on here we have a formula if g6 this value is equal to zero it is not equal to zero now so we need this value to be show here in this column so if we will enter here so it's zero this column is having five the value is five it is not zero if there will be a zero then this value will come here now move ahead to the zero to 30 days when we click here we need to met here two conditions one condition till here and the second condition here so we will write a formula with if and so if and g5 g5 means this column or the, this uh, value 
is less than or is equal to 30 then g5 this column is equal to 0 then we need what we need f5 this value to be sure 0 to 30 days check the formula here if this value is less than or equal to 30 from 0 to 30 days if it will be here the value then even though if, if it will be greater than 0 this value will be greater than 0 then we need to show this value to be here f5 should be here f5 should be here in this column we will press enter so it's 0 because here is the 0 days outstanding now 0 to 30 days if we come here this is the 50 days this is 54 days and this is here if we click here now we have here 0 to like in between 0 to 30 days delayed so it is 5 here so 5 is shown here so this invoice value will come automatically on this column enter now the same formula we will copy here but we need to change some values like double click here if and g7 g7 is less than or equal to 60 now we are in between 31 to 60 days then we need also g7 should be greater than 30 here value should be greater than 30 in between 30 to 60 then we need a value here f7 this value the invoice value should come here in this column if we press enter so you can see here the value comes here suppose here we will change the date if we change the date here like 20 to 2021 see this is not yet due the amount comes automatically here same as we will do the control z same as in 61 to 90 days our formula will be if we double click here if and g9 is less than or greater than 90 and g9 is greater than 60 then we sh please show us f9 here f9 is this value the red one so we will press enter so the f9 will be here because this value 67 is greater than 6 in between 61 to 90 days after that more than 90 days we will use only if condition because we are not we don't need two conditions here so if we click here so if g10 is greater than 90 this days outstanding greater than 19 then we need this value to be show here but here there is no any uh, greater than 90 outstanding days so no values is shown here so net due amount will be the total of this one two three four columns enter so the net total will be this this is the net due amount same formulas will be used here in other suppliers okay and at the end we need to make a summary how we can make a summary just we need to put equal sign here like we need to put equal sign here supplier number one we need to see the total payables equal sign go to this sheet and this is the total payable value this is the total payable value not yet due value we need now so here we will click on equal and we will go here not yet due amount is total for this supplier is this 0 to 30 days we will put here equal we will go to this sheet 0 to 30 days column total should be here and we will press enter and the value comes here suppose if the value change like 1370.25 remember this value if any changes happen here 1300 like we will put here 5000 so 5000 here see automatically change here so this is automated accounts payable schedule so you will know the values total payable not yet due value and the net due value so the net due value will be the total of these one two three four and enter so you will be having net due value for supply number one so this summary you can present to your management for the payment schedule of accounts payable or your creditors 
so this is what i have for today's guys i hope you understand how you can prepare an accounts payable schedule or aging so please subscribe my channel so it keep motivated me to create more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye